Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And you may be aware yesterday for the 8th of August, Unity announced their new partnership with Microsoft. And this is a partnership specifically for their Azure style cloud features because Unity have moved over to a lot of cloud services for builds and other things. And Microsoft have massive cloud services, their game development platforms and on their Xbox consoles where you can stream games. So I'm just going to give you this video as a rundown of the key parts that I think are helpful because when you see a big blog post it's got loads of marketing spiel which don't really tell you anything that you need to know we're going to go through the key points today and you can let me know in the comments about your specific opinion on this so this partnership will make it easier to build and distribute games on windows and xbox platforms and then allow to improve developer tools it'll have a simplified publisher experience and it help you to bring your games to more developers across the world due to integration directly with Xbox and other Windows services. And again, they go on to say that they want to improve workflows, deliver new functionality and provide additional reliability across all their services with such a robust system that Microsoft have. And they don't go into the details on what actual core functionality it will be. We may see it in the future. And their big takeaway from all of the things that they mentioned, they want to improve collaboration across no matter where you actually are based in the world and what data you want to access. It allows Unity to move and access specific features that Microsoft have, which is Parsec, DevOps, moving their previous tools like Weta Digital and Digital Twins over to Plio cloud base, so you can access this and take advantage of that. So specifically for the DevOps project like Plastic SCM and Cloud Build, which, which Unity have integrated more thoroughly into the engine, this allows to facilitate more rapid iteration and help you to catch issues earlier and then deliver better results in the end. And Cloud Builds will move from 25 gigabytes to 40 gigabytes and direct improvements to Plastic ECM's in-game editor plugin, which will also go hand in hand with a new launched desktop UI. And then Unity will endeavor to improve all of those services and continue to add new features and specifically for Parsec, which is specifically Microsoft's version of accessing data from or things from a virtual machine. So you can access anything from anywhere from any part of the world. And Unity is working to be able to access stream and use content from anywhere. And then Parsec already with the Azure game development virtual machines, Unity want to take advantage specifically of that technology. So the next bit they mention is about real-time 3D and digital twins. And this often requires access to models and data that wouldn't fit on even the highest end local machines that you have. So they want to be able to access all of this data and for you to be able to share, collaborate, with the digital twins across the cloud. And then like I mentioned above, for real-time 3D, Wet Digital and Ziva Dynamics, more developers and gamers want to have access to this technology. And with these specific products moving to the Azure cloud, will make machine learning and procedural creation easier for everybody, whether it's games, movies, films, whatever. The core end of the message talks about getting greater success for games and supporting core features across the Microsoft gaming ecosystem, including PC, console, and the Microsoft Store. With these key things mentioned, it's hard to find any specific details because they're always very vague in what they mention. This could mean and facilitate more features for gamers and everybody to get access to. This could be laying the groundwork for more Microsoft features to be integrated into Unity for an eventual buyout of Unity and it become an actual Microsoft product. Who knows, but you let me know down in the comments what you think and I'd love to hear from you. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 150 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and all the bonus savings on my website for all my great assets. Big thanks to all my patrons including Peter Steiner, Hoagland, Nigan, Raheem Whitaker, Gene Pomier, Manos Barakas, Terence Conrad, Gage Linston, Walter Dunson, Joseph Newman, Rene Leisure, Tofa Chambers, Kreshna Kalili, Christian Sellent, Benjamin Shankle, Alex Shen, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, Lebrons, Stephen Mormon, and Rob Winkle. And thank you for everybody who comes to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.